Hey guys, it's Penguin here and welcome back to another gold making video. In today's video, we are going to be going over how to farm the brand new skinning item in patch 10.2 called the Dreaming Antler Fragment. To those who were active in 10.1, this is the basic 10.2 counterpart to Obsidian Cobra Skin, which means this item is likely going to be very, very expensive. To those who played in early patch 10.1, Cobra Skin was selling from 50 to 100k a piece if you could get your hands on it. And so in today's video, we're going to be breaking down why these fragments are even important, the requirements to start farming them and how to meet those requirements, as well as how to actually farm these fragments yourself, and to show you that after all of this is said and done, you can spend about five minutes a day attempting to get this fragment, and if you do, that's, you know, 50k in about five minutes, which would be amazing. So, alt armies, skinners, get excited, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. And so, to get started, like I said, the Dreaming Antler Fragment is the 10.2 counterpart of Obsidian Cobra Skin. However, it's used to actually craft embellishments instead of armor. If you're a leather worker and you want to craft the new Verdant Conduit, or a jewel crafter who wants to craft the Dream Tender's Charm, you will be required to either farm these up yourself or buy them from the auction house. Now, in terms of price, keep in mind I am recording this before 10.2 actually drops, so I don't exactly know what the price is going to stabilize at or anything like that, but like I said, at the start of 10.1, Cobra Skin was going easily for 50k+, plus, and at the end of patch, it's still going for anywhere between 3 to 7k, so it's definitely worth the investment if you have some extra skinners. And so then moving on, we have the requirements. Now, the reason why I bring up alt armies and all of that is because there's one caveat to this farm. It is technically on a daily cooldown. Basically, the premise is, is that you're gonna be spawning a special creature inside of the new zone, and you have a chance once per day to skin it and get the antler fragments. Technically, you can summon and kill this creature as many times as you want, but only your first kill per day has a chance of actually dropping these rare antler fragments. And so going into requirements, it's actually pretty simple. First things first, you're going to need to pick up skinning and level it to 25 in order to unlock specializations. This should only take about 10 minutes or 15 minutes skinning in the wild. After you do that, the only other requirement is that you need to get 50 knowledge points in order to max out mastery inside of the bait crafter tree. Now, 50 knowledge points definitely sounds like a lot, but if you have been playing the game, you have three easy ways to get a ton of knowledge points. Firstly, you need to make your way to the waking shores, and there's going to be a profession master skinner on the coast and just simply going up and talking to them is going to give you 10 skinning points, which is just super awesome right off the bat. That's a fifth of what you need. I'll have cords on screen if you want to make your way to that location. After that, you kind of have two options. The recommended path is that you go back to Valdraken and you pick up two of the Artisan Consortium skinning notes for Artisan Metal, and that's going to give you 30 knowledge points. Now, the hard part is that you do need Artisan Metal, and if this is a brand new character, you might not have that. I recommend potentially picking up a crafting profession, as well as complete your weekly quest if you need some metal, but I highly recommend picking up two of those notes for an additional 30 knowledge points. After that, assuming you played in patch 10.1, you likely have a Niffin rep, so you're going to make your way over to the Zerolek Caverns, go to the Quartermaster, and you're going to pick up the skinning note from the Reputation Vendor. This is perfect because it's going to give you 10 points, the exact amount that you need, and it's going to cost you supplies instead of Artisan Metal. But don't worry if you don't have Niffin rep because you didn't play in 10.1, that is perfectly okay. You can go back to Valdraken and you can go and pick up the last skinning note from the Artisan's Consortium. It's going to cost more metal, but that will get you an additional 15 points, so that can be a replacement if you don't have rep. 
but with whatever method that you choose, you're going to want to go and allocate 10 points into Bait Crafter, and then shove all of the 40 points into Mastery to max it out. Once you have that, setup is complete, and you are good to go to start farming. Once you're ready, you're going to want to pick up some maybe meat. I highly recommend just buying it off the auction house. They are super, super cheap, and you only need 10 maybe meat per elusive creature bait. This bait is what you're going to place on the ground every single day in order to lure the elusive verdant glade warden, which is the mob that you're going to kill to hopefully get these fragments. So what I would recommend, especially if you plan on doing this daily, just purchase a handful of meat up front so you can just store it into your inventory so you don't have to constantly go back to an auction house. Once you have that, once you have your baits good to go, make your way to the Emerald Dream. Once there, you will need to make your way to the mid-eastern part of the map, which is considered the Meandering Rootlands. You know you're in the right place because it will show up on your screen once you enter the zone, and you can see that zone location above your minimap. In this region, which is just kind of a little island to itself, you will want to place down your creature bait. Unlike 10.1, you have a pretty wide range to place it. I placed it at the top of the rootlands, I placed it at the bottom, in the middle, to the side, and this creature always spawns. So feel free to just pick a location that you're good and place the bait. After a few seconds, the elusive Verdant Glade Warden should show up, and you have a choice to make. If you're a geared player, you can quickly kill it, just like normal, or if you struggle with item level, just like me, you can wait five minutes, you don't even have to fight it, and it will die on its own. Once it dies, be sure to go up and skin it, because it will despawn very, very fast. Once you skin it, hopefully you're lucky enough to get a fragment, and that is it. You can simply go and either use it in crafting, or sell it to the auction house. But yeah guys, that is basically it. If you're unlucky and you don't get a fragment, that is okay. You can either try again on a new character or try again the next day. One thing that I do want to keep in mind is that all of this is subject to change because I'm strictly going off PTR knowledge, so don't be shocked if something changes slightly, but hopefully this guide can give you enough starting information to get out there and farm the fragments at the start of 10.2. I can imagine if you were one of the first people to get these recipes, you're going to make a lot of crafters very, very happy, and they are going to be willing to pay a pretty penny. But everybody, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Good luck farming, everybody, and have a good day.